Hello, Cap No Awesome. If I remember correctly, rule number four of statistics in relation to uh, critical thinking interpretation of statistics is that if you can find one counterexample, then your entire theory or generalization um, is either scrapped or needs to be reformed. Two video responses on your other Wiccan video fit that description. They're not fat, and they're certainly uh, they're not fat like the vid like the uh, postings you show. And um, I'm also curious. You said that those photos were a random sampling. Um, I'd like to know how you got the photos, where you got them from. Uh, again, I'd like to know, you claim that they are a random sampling. Uh, again, I watched three quarters of your video. I'm going to go back and watch the rest afterwards. So maybe you already covered this point. I don't know. If you don't, I'm going to uh, comment on it some more. Um, but I'd like to know how you got that randomization sample. If you're, again, considering the fact that there are now two counterexamples, that is a stereotype. But the thing is that in your other videos, and I'm not talking about your titles, I've actually watched some of your work. There's been considerable use of horse laugh fallacy, straw manning attacks, um, like the, in relation to um, uh, calling all witches goth. Um, again, again, watch my other video responses in relation to that. And um, oh, let's see what else. Uh, the liberal Christian, um, uh, uh, the liberal Christian calling them a homo. That's what's called an ad hominem attack. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you're aware of all of this. Um, and I'm pretty sure, sh the, the thing is what, uh, again, what I've, I've already said this before, um, is that humor is good, but this is not the place for it. Uh, again, if you're, uh, and if you're actually making a, uh, uh, if you're actually making a critical thinking video and then using hasty generalizations or other type of fallacies involved, it weakens the remainder of the atheist movement's arguments. Uh, or it weakens your position. Or, um, let's see. I'm going to quote this month's Skeptical Inquirer magazine, which had a uh, review of Richard Dawkins' work, where um, Dawkins uh, used an unnecessary argument about um, uh, portraying, uh, you know, about portraying uh, uh, one scientist as be uh, as portraying uh, non-religious scientists as automatically being better or superior in qualifications to um, uh, to what you call it um, uh, to religious scientists. Um, it's on. Uh, it's in the June. It's in the um, January, February, two thousand eight edition of Skeptical Inquirer, pages thirty-eight to forty-two. You can read it for yourself. But um, the the point is, is uh, to quote literally, you weak uh, or paraphrasing with you in place of Dawkins. You're weakening your case by uh, at, by unnecessarily including weak arguments, and um, it it might expose bias in your presentation and raise questions about your objectivity. Uh, in pertaining to this, and that's a direct quote in relation to Dawkins, but I'm reapplying it to you, um, or reapplying it to your argument style at this particular point, because um, I am getting, again, from what I've seen of your actual videos, and again, I've already made responses before about um, misinterpretation, uh, you know, automatically demonizing all of, you know, various religions, um, uh, when in point, when case in point, um, communism, uh, particularly Russian and Chinese communism, misinterpreted a perfectly good atheist movement and ended up uh, creating probably just as much human rights atrocities, um, or you know, uh, v you know, vis-a-vis -vis vo volume, you know, you know, percentage-wise, um, as as did the uh, as did the other religious um, groups about their non-believers, you know, vis-a-vis uh, -vis percentage of the population. So, my point being, uh, again, is well. I think you get my point. Humor is funny, but not, you know, is, is great, but it's not in this particular place here. And um, again, uh, you, you've call, uh, you called the people, for example, who you said, uh, you said half, the, um, half the idiot comments, I believe it was, or ha uh, something like that, pertaining to the comments that just reply to your title. Well, considering the fact that you apparently now are resorting to stereotyping in order to support your position, well, I'm going to resort to um, what my t-shirt says. Um, this may be a little off, um, but anyway, I think, again, in light of the fact that there are now counterexamples, please try to use a little bit more in the way of logical arguments and a little bit less in the way of humor uh, or, or just general stereotyping or general critical thinking fallacies um, if you're going to try to seriously debunk a religious movement. This is the t-shirt. This applies to Pentecostals and to other fundamentalists of various different. Uh, this applies to uh, quite the majority of Pentecostals I've met, and um, yes, the I don't the ones I said the majority I've met. I did not necessarily say the majority of Pentecostals. This applies to the uh, to reform my statement. This applies to the majority of Pentecostals I've met, the majority of fundamentalists, and certainly to the uh, probably to the zealous uh, to those who are zealous within our own atheist movement. Why do people with closed minds always open their mouths? 
So now, of course, that is a double-edged sword, but it is just a reminder. So please do try if you're going to, uh, you know, help debunk religion. Um, use uh, use some honest to goodness logical arguments and a little bit less on general stereotyping, ad hominem attacks, uh, ad hominem attacks, insults, what have you. Just my thoughts. Take it for what you will. But from one atheist to another, do try to uh, help the rest of us uh, maintain our position in the public eye. Thanks.